So today on this beginner series for Final Cut Pro version 10.3, I'm just going to show you how to reformat um, a hard drive so that it has compatibility with Mac computers and therefore can be used on Final Cut Pro X for storing things like external libraries and your video footage. So the very first thing you need to do is to take your external hard drive and to plug it in in the side of your computer. A symbol for the hard drive that you just purchased or it might be one that you already have in existence will appear as a symbol kind of like this yellow one that we have here. Sometimes it appears as a different symbol, different hard drives have got um, their own inbuilt symbols but you need something along these lines to pop up. So the first thing we need to do is to um, check what format the hard drive is already in and you would do this by either right clicking on the mouse or holding control and select going down to the third option here which says get info and clicking on that button. Now we can see here this particular hard drive, the format which is the fourth option down in general is a Windows NT file system or NTFS. Now this is a file system which obviously is compatible with Windows and as a result it can't be used to write files um, on a Mac computer. Just to demonstrate, if I double click on this here you can see that we don't have a lot of our normal finder options on the left hand side. You just have this symbol. If I try to drag any of my documents in, you get that symbol there. It like, can't do that. You can actually um, can copy files from there, from a hard drive onto your, uh, onto your desktop or onto your computer, but you can't write anything onto your hard drive. And for our um, editing processes, that is absolutely essential. So we need to um, make sure that this is this is reformatted. So another thing to note is that the process of formatting itself wipes the entire drive. So if this is a for hard drive that you already own that might have some materials like you know family photos or anything that's already in existence, you need to make sure that any files that are already on that hard drive are saved somewhere else first because the process wipes it clean, it gets rid of everything. The process, even the, the symbol itself as you we um, go through it, you'll see says erase. So if I double click on here, now sometimes the hard drives come with their own um, warranty documents and things, but this one's completely empty. We're starting absolutely from scratch, so we're fine here. But if you do have anything at all, make sure that you've copied and pasted any of these files and put them onto either another drive, a memory stick, or the desktop of your computer before undertaking this process. I cannot emphasize that enough. So the first thing we're going to do to reformat is to go up here to this little uh, magnifying glass here, which is our spotlight search, and we're going to search for the disk utility, which already you can see is sort of popping up there as an option. This symbol here that looks like a stethoscope being held against a disk. We're going to double click on this option here and it brings up this window. So the very first thing that you need to do is make sure that you select your hard drive one that you either you own already or that you've just purchased on the left hand side. So here it's my elements one, my WD elements. Now the reason that there's two options here is because this is the hard drive itself and this is essentially one partition is what they kind of call it. Um, we want to make sure we select this because we do not under any circumstances want to reformat the hard drive of, of the computer itself because that's going to wipe everything off the computer. So very, very, uh, first thing you do, very, very important thing is to select your hard drive or, or your um, the partition of your hard drive. And we're going to go up here to the disk utility portion, which is erase. And we're going to click on this option erase, just emphasizing the fact that this is an erasing process. So just to talk through a few options here, you have a number of different options for formats. So we're going to check what options we have here. Now, if you are a Mac user, 100% Mac, you never go near another type of computer, um, I would just recommend that the first option here, which is your Mac OS Extended Journaled. If you want to encrypt it with a pass, you know, password, those, all those kind of things, you can do that yourself. But the OS Extended Journaled is, is pretty straightforward and it's one of the most uh, functional for, for Mac users. If, however, you would like the um, your hard drive to be compatible across um, computing systems, if you have a Windows computer at home, a Mac computer at the university or um, vice versa, you, you have one of these two options available. The first option is XFAT. Now this is this is one which is sort of a non-journal format. It's been re reliable in most cases in mine and it just basically means that you can just copy and paste, you can pop it into 
either file system and it should it should be able to work work no problem but what I have found is a couple of different um, file systems can be a little temperamental I find Seagate to be one of those um, occasionally when you then plug it into a Windows system it reformats it like it steals it and it won't go back again and it, it's, it can generate problems um, but most of the time if you're using things like the you know the sort of WD elements you know some of these different types of hard drives I haven't had any issues with those and I find them to be quite compatible for most people across systems. This format down here MS DOS in brackets fat this is another Microsoft system and it is technically compatible with both in the same way that XFAT is. It's an older system. XFAT is more for, again, newer computers, newer Windows computers. Um, this one is sort of a little bit more, more caters for a variety of, um, of ages of systems. But it has a file size limit of four gigabytes, which means that if you, any individual file, which is more than four gigabytes, you're not gonna be able to copy it. And for video work, which is what we're using it for, that can be quite problematic. So, if you're someone you want your you know you want your uh, hard drive to be compatible with both you could give XFAT a try and see how that one works provided it's maybe not not as not a Seagate hard drive um the only other option then that you would have would be to partition the hard drive which is essentially like splitting the hard drive into two hard drives neither are compatible with each other but each portion would be compatible across file systems so there'd be an element of of sharing enabled. So I'm actually just going to choose the first format which is Mac OS Extended Journaled uh, because that's what's going to be useful for, for here um, and for the scheme the, the, the GUID partition map is fairly standard um, the, kind of by default sort of the, the standard uh, formats are fairly um, self-explanatory and, and kind of do the job. So from here, I'm going to change the name to Stanzas. I'm going to put that in all. You can put it whatever name you want. I'd advise maybe either the sort of the name of of the hard drive itself. You might call it kind of like Elements or WD. You might call it um, your pet's name. It might be your own name, or it might be what it's going to be used for. So I'm going to call this one Stanzas because that is what this hard drive is all about. So it's going to be one purely used for for Stanzas documents. Um, and we're just going to hit the um, the erase key and that is, is that's pretty much as simple as it gets. So we're just going to click erase. It shouldn't take too long, depending on the hard drive, depending on the size. It should be quite a simple, straightforward and um, quick process. We'll see how this one goes. There we go. Erasing WD elements, erasing process is complete. We now have created a stanzas partition and we're going to click done. So now we can see that the name of our hard drive has changed here to stanzas. Just pop that back up there. Um, I'm just going to close out of this window and I'm going to go back to what we did originally, which is to hold control and to click and to go down to get info just to confirm that this has changed. So our format now here is indicated as Mac OS extended and in brackets journaled capacity two terabytes. And um, also hopefully you should be able to see here that um, if I double click here now, this menu now has changed. So we have our options here on the left hand side. And if I drag a document now into the folder, you can see that we're now able to copy and paste onto our hard drive. So there we are here. I'm just going to close that out there. So that says all good. Um, it's quite a simple process. It should literally just take about two or three minutes. And um, yeah, let me know how you get on. Thanks very much.